Hello, 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 class. I'm here. Hi, class. Hi, Hi, teacher. Hi good evening. Oh, I don't feel good. I, I feel know. that. Why? Why is it? Because I I think that I I take no I I I'm sick. You're sick, really? Uh, Why? I don't know. Maybe they change it. The climate change. The environment. Right? The environment, right? Oh no! So yes. Good evening. Hello, Rebecca. Good evening. So now I can see Marlon, Jorge, Catherine, Sandra, Silvia, Eric. Celia, Joaquin, and the rest of the class, turn on your cameras. Please, cameras on all the time. Todo el tiempo, cámaras encendidas, chicos. So, let's see. We are going to start with this class. For today, we are supposed to finish with section number three and midterm exam. So we are going to do a review. Let's have a review. Let's see. Vamos a hacer un repaso de los temas. Chicos, ¿cuánto ya tuvieron la oportunidad de entrar a la plataforma de las actividades de la sección 3 y el midterm exam? ¿O todavía no? Yes, no. Um, yes. A mí me okay. falta creo que solo la última parte para completar. Ok. A mí también me pasa. Pero, um, o sea, creería yo que es la clase que vamos a ver ahora. Intenté hacerlo, pero me dio bueno. The reading exam, the reading part. <laughs> ok, come on, don't be lazy. Uh, <laughs> no, but at least you are honest. Me encanta la necesidad. Don't worry. I'm don't you sorry. worry. No, that's ok, it's that's a, ok. It, um, <laughs> it's natural. Yeah, it's an expression, an expression, a Salvadorian expression. It's cosa de salvadoreños. Class, let's start right now. So where is it? Let me see. ¿Quién me falta? And 19. 19 estudiantes. Hey, thank you so much for the ones who are joining the class on time. Let me see. Alguien me ha justificado. Sí. Jennifer no va a estar. Y Ana Karina que ya me justificó. Okay. No hay problema. Yes, Ana María, tell me. Hello, good evening, Hi, good teacher. Ana Maria. Hi. I'm here. Okay, so <laughs> thank you. 19 students. Cinco minutos más y paso la lista. Okay, so okay. for today, what are we going to have? A review. Let me see. Midterm review. So we can remember all the topics that we covered in the previous classes. Okay, here we go. Just let me go back. Here we go. Okay, I'm ready to start with the class. Section number three for today is going to be over. What do you do? Let's have for today the midterm review. Remember that this is a beginner two course. Section, uh, session number eight, and my name is Elena Arquette. That's it, let's start right now. So look, what is the first topic that we're going to have? Let's go to the platform and let's check this one. Vamos a ir paso a paso viendo que hay en cada parte del midterm exam, midterm exam. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, perdón que la interrumpa. Este, no, go ahead. Fíjese de que yo, yo le tuve problema, ya, ya le, esto me captura la, la... Uh -huh. Uh, como la parte que tuve problemas, pero es, es en la parte 1, en el, como en los primeros ejercicios. Okay. Fíjense que ahí traté de varias maneras de hacerlo y no, no me funcionó. Solo esa palabra que sí, en el DAS, okay. eh, dice que... Uh -huh. Ahorita vamos entonces a tener esa práctica. Gracias. Siempre acuérdense de enviarlos sí. al grupo de WhatsApp para que entre todos ah, podamos sí, darnos sí. ideas o ver cómo lo ha resuelto alguien más, ¿so? Excelente. Sí. Esa es nuestra meta de ahora, revisar cada parte del midterm exam y aclarar dudas. Okay. So, let's see. Look, we have a listening section. Wow, interesting. The listening part. You are going to listen to this short 
conversation, short audio, related to, uh, oh, okay, houses and apartment. Veamos, houses and apartment. This is in section two, if I'm not mistaken. Section number two. Yes. Does it have a view? Tal vez algunos Hola. ya vieron el video, tal vez hay otros que no tuvieron la oportunidad de verlos. Veamos todos los videos, ¿ok? So, houses and apartments. Section number two. Let's watch this video first, and then we are going to talk about, talk about this vocabulary. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Okay. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, here we go. So let me share this one. Houses and apartment vocabulary. And look, I have a picture right here with different rooms in a house or an apartment. Let me ask you, do you live in a house or in an apartment? Where do you live? House or apartment? I, I live in a house. I live in a house. Excellent. And the rest of the class? House or apartment? I live in the apartment. I live in apartment, in a house. Okay. Yes, class, I want to listen to you. Espero 21 respuestas. I live in a house. I live in a house. I live in an apartment. I live in a house. I live in a house. Yes, Ana Maria. I live in a house. I live in a house. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Where do you live? In a house or apartment? I live in the house. In the house, very good. So let's see what do we have in a house? What rooms do we have in a house? Well, this is like the, a regular house. Let me see, what do you see here? In my apartment, mm -hmm. have two rooms. You have two rooms, only two rooms? Oh, it's a very small apartment, right? Very small. Yeah. In Jen. my house, I have uh, three rooms. Three rooms, okay, it's bigger, it's bigger. My house are three rooms, two. Okay. Um. There are three rooms, okay, it's bigger now. But take a look at this mm -hmm. picture, home, sweet home. Oh, interesting, we have the first floor and the second floor. First floor, second floor, primer floor piso o primera planta y segunda planta, first floor. Take a look at the vocabulary related to the first floor. Garage, garage, laundry room. What do we have in the laundry room? What do we have in the laundry room? Mm -hmm. It's like, a, where do you wash your... The, the washing machine? The, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. The washing machine. The washing machine. Yes. Do you have a laundry room at home? Because I don't. I don't. I don't have a laundry room, right. but I have a 
a washing machine. Um, washing machine. Yeah, right. In, well, in... <laughs> as well. <laughs> but we don't have laundry room, right? Maybe this is a house from United States or any other country, but yeah, it's not yes. that usual here in El Salvador to have a specific room yes. for, <laughs> for to do the laundry. Yeah. It's raro tener un laundry room. Sería genial, mm -hmm. Kitchen. Wow, look at the kitchen. Dining room. What do we have in the dining room? Yes, what do we have? Yes. It's okay. the place when we eat our... Uh, uh -huh. How do you say Shares. it? I don't remember. How do you say, I'm sorry, how do you say what? And then the comment. Dining room yes. is, the, is when the... When where we have meals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Meals sería breakfast, uh, yes. lunch, and dinner. 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 Meals, yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay, here in El Salvador, maybe at home, I'm talking about my house. I have in the same room, the dining room, the living room, and the kitchen is very close. So it's like one room for the three uh, rooms in this house. ¿Qué tal su casa? ¿Tienen un room para cada uno? Dining room, living room, and kitchen. ¿Cómo está su casa? In my house mm -hmm. is um, the... Uh, Because we have the table, dining room. Table, okay. the table uh, is mm -hmm. near of the kitchen. <laughs> Ah, okay, so you mm -hmm. have like the dining room and the kitchen, right? Yes. Very good. So dining room, living room, and mm -hmm. jar or back jar. Do you have a back jar at home? Yes, no? Back jar or jar? No. Back jar? Back in, in my house, yes. it's very big. It's very big, wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. So? Let's repeat, let's repeat. First floor, first floor. First floor. Garage. Floor. Garage. 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 Laundry room. Laundry, Laundry room. room. Laundry room. room. One more time. Laundry room. Laundry room. Room. Room, esa M, por favor. Room. 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 Excellent. Room. Room. Great room, job. Room, room, exactly. Kitchen. 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 Okay, Kitchen. very good. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Yard. Dining room. Jar. 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 One more time. Jar. 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 And living room. Living room. Living room. Living room. Very good. So, room. what do we have? This is the first floor. Second floor. Oh, I can see a bedroom. 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 Stairs. 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 What is the meaning of the stairs? What is the meaning of this word? Do you know? Escaleras. Escaleras, exactly. So we go from the first floor up to the second floor using the stairs. Mm, stairs. Usamos las stairs para ir a the second floor. Muy bien. Second floor. Bathroom. 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 What is a hole? Hole. 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 What is a hole? Pasillo. Pasillo. Muy bien. Hole. 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 Este es un pasillo. Hole. Okay. Hole. Very good. So, take a look at the apartment. ¿Qué tenemos en el apartment? Teacher, Tell me. Teacher, I, I have a doubt. What is the difference the bathroom and red room? Oh, interesting. The bedroom is where do you sleep? The bathroom is where do you, do you, do you take a shower? No, but you say bathroom, 
Yeah, bathroom and o oh, oh, si es, escuche. Bre no, bath bathroom. Bathroom and restroom. Ah, okay. This ah. one. Okay. Marlon, do you know the difference? Bathroom and restroom? No, bathroom, where ah. do you take a shower? In restroom? Yes. Is where do you sleep? Mm, no, that is bathroom. But look, look, ya lo escribí en rojo. Restroom, restroom. Yes. Most of the time, we are going to call this one. Podemos hacer dos ah, distinciones. Bathroom. Miren, dos distinciones. Dos. Uno, baza. Bathroom. The place in which we take a shower. Podemos llamarle simplemente bathroom. Muchas veces nosotros tenemos ambas cosas en el mismo room. Donde nos bañamos y donde tenemos eh, el sanitario y todo el lavabo y todo eso. Bathroom. Un inodoro. Un inodoro. Muy bien. Bathroom. Bath. También está esta otra diferencia. Al de casa le llamamos bathroom. Cuando público, estamos restroom. fuera a los públicos le llamamos restroom. Restroom. Por ejemplo, si yo estoy en la universidad, ¿será ese bathroom yeah, yeah. o restroom? Restroom. Si so, yo estoy en el restroom. If, if, if when do you say me go, me, no, me go to the restroom? Yeah. Uh -huh. Restroom. Si yeah, se usa restroom. Si estoy en mi trabajo, sorry. ¿qué usaría? Restroom. ¿Bathroom o restroom? Restroom. Restroom, because it's True. not home. Restroom. Mm. Y... Esa también la diferencia es que es público y que también en esos lugares es, no creo que encontremos una ducha o sí, no, ¿verdad? Solo encontramos el inodoro. Entonces, por eso lo llamamos también restroom. restroom. Pero podemos hacer esa distinción. Público, casa. Donde tengo también, eh, donde me baño y el inodoro. Bathroom, restroom. Okay. In my house is bathroom, bathroom in the exactly. public is restroom. Yes, exactly. Okay. Hey, okay, great, great. But look, ¿por qué entonces aquí le llamamos bathroom en esta casa? ¿Por qué clase? Mm -hmm. because, because is uh, when take a shower. Ah, porque acá tenemos ambas. Yo aquí veo una bañera y veo él. Inodoro. Entonces, por eso le llamamos bathroom. Porque están ambas cosas. Muy bien, clase. ¿Sí quedó claro? Yes. No. Bien. Apartment. Lobby. What is the lobby? It's like the main entrance. Okay. When you go inside of this building, you are going to find the lobby. ¿Qué es el lobby entonces? ¿Qué es el lobby? Como donde lo reciben a uno. Okay. ¿Dónde lo reciben? Como la recepción. La recepción, no, muy bien. El lobby, lobby. Exactly. Lobby, very good. And we can have the lobby in this apartment and also at hotels. What else do we have? The elevator. Elevator. Okay, where can you find elevators class? Where? What places can you find elevators? Metro Centro. Metro Centro, exactly. The shopping malls. Metro shopping Centro. mall. Mm -hmm. What else? Donde más encontramos elevators? In a hospital. In a hospital. Yes, right, hospital. What else? Hospital. Mm -hmm. In a building. In a building, excellent. In one mm. edificio. The office. In the office, very good. Mm. In the office. Where? That's it? Solo ahí? Sí, ¿verdad? Okay, mm -hmm. elevator, elevator. And, wow, look at this apartment. It has four rooms. There are four rooms in this apartment. And we can find the bathroom and also a closet. We have the kitchen, the living room, and the bathroom. Bathroom, okay? Bathroom. So what is this? ¿Qué será este espacio? Este espacio que está vacío acá. ¿Cómo le llamamos? 
este espacio que veo vacío aquí. Será como una terraza. No. ¿Será oh. terraza? ¿O será no. el hall? El hall. El hall. Vacío, ¿verdad? Hall. Vacío. So actually no. it has three rooms. Uy, pensé que tenía cuatro. No, tiene tres. Tres habitaciones. Three rooms, ¿ok? Kitchen, mm -hmm. closet, bathroom, bathroom, elevator, and living room. So let me ask you. If you are curious, you have already noticed that I have four questions. Si se dieron cuenta, tengo cuatro preguntas. Let me see. Catherine Larissa. Catherine Larissa asked one of your classmates the first question. Pregúntale a alguno de tus compañeros, boy or girl, this one, la primera. Vamos. ¿A quién? I don't know. El que tenga cámara apagada. No. Uh, <laughs> no, yo. Ya <Yeah>, idea. <laughs> Ana María. No. Ok, Ana wow. María. No. Bye. What rooms are in house in your countries? Mm, sorry, repeat. What rooms are in house in your countries? What room mm. are in what house rooms? in your country? Mm -hmm. In my house or this house, the, the picture? So houses in El Salvador. Houses. In ah, house. in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, two or three, normal. But what rooms? Can you tell me the name of the rooms? Look at the ones in green. Let's get the point in green. What okay. rooms are in houses in El Salvador? Mm, bedrooms. Okay. Kitchen. Kitchen. Dining room. Dining room. Mm, and sometimes gar the garage. Sometimes, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, laundry room, no. No, right? We don't laundry, have laundry. laundry room, no. No, right? Um, oh. Bathroom. Bathroom, okay. Living room. Mm, hall. What? Oh. I'm sorry. Only. Only, only that. that. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Now let me see. Let me have uh, Eric. Eric. Second question. Pregúntele a alguien, Eric. Vamos, a quien usted quiera. Go, Eric. What rooms? Ah, ese es plural. Rooms are in your house or apartment? Um, Ana. Vaya, pregúntele a Ana entonces, vamos. Eh, what <laughs> room are in a, in a house? Are in, in my house. Yes. Okay. Mm, <laughs> in my house are the, eh, Bathroom, uh, bedroom, kitchen, dining room, and living room, living or oh, living room living or living room? Living room. Living room. Mm -hmm. Only that. Okay. So try to use this one. Al siguiente que le preguntemos usemos there is. There is. There are. Pongamos este ejemplo, five rooms in my house. Un ejemplo, in my house. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. What rooms are in your house or apartment? Um, there are uh -huh. six, six rooms, in my, six rooms. In, in my house. Okay, can you tell me what are the rooms? In your yes. house? Uh, okay, great. In my house have uh, three um, uh, bedrooms. Okay, there are three bedrooms. Okay, wow. Um, have a um, uh, kitchen. Okay, there um, is a kitchen. Yes. Uh, dining room. A dining room. Uh, a garage. A garage. 
Um, laundry room. Okay, there is a garage, there is a laundry room. Really, do you have a laundry room? Yes. Wow, you're a lucky guy. Yes, it, it's, it's, it's very small. <laughs> it's very small, but you it, have it. very small. Okay, yes. very small. <laughs> excellent answer, excellent answer. Okay, wait. Let me do a pause. Voy a hacer una pausa para pasar la asistencia y luego seguimos practicando, okay? Here we go. So there is and there are. Piensen en eso, la respuesta que me van a dar. ¿Cuáles habitaciones o cuáles cuartos tienen en su casa? Here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Let me see. Adriana. Yes, este es el correcto. Adriana Gretel González. Here. Very good. Ana Karina Orellana. Yeah, she's here. Ah, okay, muy bien. Ana María Saz. Here, teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Here. Very good. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. I am. Excellent. Cristian Adonai Ramírez. Here, teacher. Very good. Cristelia Rosalinda Jiménez. Here. Excellent. Cristian Alberto Reyes. Present. Edgar Francisco Galeano. Is Edgar in the class today? No, right? He's absent. Eric Sigfredo Hernández. Present. Is Sigfredo or Sigifredo? Sigifredo. Sigifredo, ¿verdad? Okay. Pues mis lentes están fallando. Jennifer Mercedes Hernández. Oh, she asked for permission. Joaquín Antonio Chévez. Present teacher. Excelente. Joana Beatriz Rivas. Is Joana in the class? Yo creo que en WhatsApp dijo que no iba a poder estar. Ah, ok, gracias. Sí, porque no he revisado WhatsApp todavía. Gracias. Gracias. Bien. Jorge Alberto Hernández. Presente. José Armando Hernández. Presente, teacher. Okay. Juana Beatriz Díaz. Presente. Very good. Katharine Larisa Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Let me see, I have Kevin Alexander Hernández. Present. Very good. Marlon Movidio Escalante. Here. Rebeca Abigail Calderón. Present teacher. Excellent. Roxana Beatriz Marroquín. Present. Excellent. Samuel Eduardo Pineda. Present teacher. Excellent. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. And Yesenia Claribel Cruz. Present. Okay. Alguien que no haya mencionado. Todos estamos bien con la asistencia. ¿Sí, verdad? Bien, so let me continue. Speaking time. We were talking about there is, there are. What rooms are in your house or apartment? Let me see. Roxana Beatriz, what rooms are in your house or apartment? Roxana is in the class, Roxana. I guess she's not. Yesenia, what rooms are in your house or apartment? Class. Si se fijan, estoy preguntando las cámaras apagadas. Come on. Cameras on, please. Samuel, what rooms are in your apartment or house? House or apartment? Uh, 
there are kitchen, okay. dining room, yard, uh -huh. living room, bedroom, and bathroom. Okay, so there is. Si solo hay una de cada una, vamos a decir there is. There is a kitchen, there is a dining room, there is a living room. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. What rooms are in your house or apartment? Okay. In my case, I live in a house. Okay. There are two bed, bedrooms. Okay. There is a bedroom and there is a bathroom. And a bathroom. And there is a dining room. Okay, do you have a garage? No, I don't. Okay, so we can say that there isn't a there, garage. There, there isn't. Or there, there is, is not a garage. Very there good. Garage. Let me see, Adriana, what rooms are in your house or apartment? Your microphone, Adri, please. Sorry, my friend. Don't worry, don't uh, worry. Let me tell you, in my case, I live in a house. Okay. In my house, there is a kitchen. There are uh, two uh, bedrooms. Okay. And there is a bathroom. Mm -hmm. There are uh, two back jars. And... I in my in my living room is very small. It's very small. Okay, interesting. Rebecca, what is your favorite room? What is your favorite room? What is my favorite room in your? You say that you live in an apartment, right? <laughs> the bedroom, of course. That is my favorite room as well. Excellent, Rebe. Jose Armando, what is your favorite room at home? Um, my favorite room is kitchen. The kitchen. Oh, interesting. The kitchen. Yes, right. Why not? <laughs> we love the kitchen. And my how about room? My favorite room is a bedroom. It's the bedroom, bedroom and kitchen. Okay, <laughs> vamos a ver quién gana. Eh, let me see who's next. Cristelia, what is your favorite room? My favorite room is bedroom. The bedroom. And you, Carlos Cabrera, what is your favorite room at home? <laughs> my favorite room is uh, my my bedroom. The bedroom, right? Exactly. We love the bedroom. And you, Kevin? Kevin Alexander, what is your favorite room? Uh, for me, my favorite room is the bedroom. The bedroom, okay. And Christian Adonai, what is your favorite room? My favorite room is kitchen and bedroom. <laughs> kitchen and bedroom, okay, both. And how about Juana? Juana Beatriz, what is your favorite room? What's One more time, Juana. No sé si ustedes la escucharon o soy solo yo, chicos. What is your favorite room, Juana? No oh, escuchamos a Juana. Solo puedo verla, pero tratemos de reducir. Juana, en el chat, pónganos, Juana, ¿cuál es su favorite room? Muy bien, no sé qué pasará con la let me see. Tenemos la respuesta. Cristelia, ¿se sigue escuchando cortado? Ya no. Ya no. Ah, Hace bueno. ratito sí. Qué bien, qué bien, muy bien. Bien. Let's wait for Juana. Hola. Hoy sí, hoy sí, ¿verdad, Juana? What is your favorite room, Juana? What is your favorite room? Your closet. ¿Cuál es su habitación favorita en su casa? Is it the kitchen, the dining room, living room, the bedroom? 
¿Cuál es mi qué? Dijo? Su habitación favorita o su lugar favorito en casa. ¿Cuál es su su y toda de mi casa es por eso. Uh -huh. Exacto. Orsu se dice, ¿cómo es ese caso? House. House. Mm -hmm. What is me? What is your favorite word on Siva? Yes. House. Vaya, Juana, vea que le pregunte a alguien más y luego vamos con usted de nuevo. Veamos con. Who I have here? Um, Marlon, what is your favorite room at home? My favorite room um, is my bedroom. It's your bedroom. Okay. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I think better. Okay, the bedroom. Excellent. Ahora preguntémosle a Juana otra vez. Juana, what is your favorite room? En el caso de Marlon is the bedroom. And you? What is your favorite room? Bedroom. The bedroom, también. Yeah. Mm, sí, el cuarto. El cuarto donde dormimos, bedroom. Yes, right? Muy bien. So, what is your favorite room? Excellent. So, now, si vamos a la platform, let me see. Vamos a encontrar, let me see. Where is the platform? Vocabulary, listening. Aquí estamos. There are, there is. De acuerdo a listening, van a identificar cuántas eh, habitaciones hay. There are two, three, or no rooms, o ninguna. Escuchemos bien el audio, identificamos. There are some chairs in the... Oh, identifiquemos en dónde están las sillas. Dining room, living room, kitchen. Escuchen las veces que sea necesaria. Julia needs a microwave, refrigerator, or stove. ¿Qué necesita para la cocina? Microwave, refrigerator, or a stove. ¿Qué es stove? What is the meaning of stove? Oh, cocina. Cocina, muy bien. Bien. Next. Look. Do you live? Do you live? Vámonos a repasar esto rapidito. Solo son dos temas que nos hacían falta. Here we go. Look. Do you live in an apartment? Yes or no? Does no, yeah. your house have a backyard? Yes or no? No, there is. Uh -huh. no, so, ¿cómo vamos a responder eso? Look. Easy. Si me están preguntando con el auxiliar tú, voy a responder con el auxiliar tú. Si me están preguntando con das, voy a responder usando das. Do you live in an apartment? Yes. I live in an apartment. I do. Son respuestas cortas. Yes. Estamos hablando de respuestas cortas. Yes, yes I, I do. do. No, I don't. No. I don't. ¿Por qué digo I? Porque es mi información personal. Me están preguntando a mí. Does your house have a backyard? ¿Su casa tiene un backyard? Yes. It. Porque estamos hablando de la casa. Does. Affirmative. No, no, it, no, it, it doesn't. doesn't, does not. Doesn't, doesn't. Oops. Like this. No, this is. No, it doesn't, does not doesn't. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Mm -mm. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Does your house have a backyard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So, simple present. Miren, siempre usamos el presente simple, pero en esta oportunidad, respuestas cortas. 
respuestas cortas. Sí y no. Sí y no. José Armando, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. Okay. Carlos Alberto Villalobos, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. Carlos Cabrera, do you live in an apartment? Okay. Yes or no? Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. Joaquin, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. Adriana, does your house have a backyard? Yes, he does. Yes, it does. Okay, Edgar, ya puedo ver a Edgar. Hola, Edgar. Edgar, do you live in an apartment? Hello. Um, yes, I... Uh, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Bien. Edgar, does your house have a backyard? Yes. Yes, it... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Tal vez tiene problemas, ¿ok? Ahí estamos. Hello, yes, hello. It, hello, does your house have a backyard? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Muy bien. Juana, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. Bien, class. So, let's go. Nos vamos acá. ¿Cómo voy a saber entonces, teacher, cuál es la respuesta correcta? Easy. Facilísimo. Miren. Number one. Conversation number one. Let me help you. Si reemplazamos el sujeto, your apartment building, por un pronombre. ¿Qué pronombre tiene que ser este? Your apartment building. Yeah. ¿Hm? Ok, it. And we are going to use with he, she and it, el auxiliar. Das. 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 I, you, we, they. Wait. I, you, we and they. ¿Qué auxiliar vamos a usar? Do. 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 Fácil. Entonces, si ya reemplacé your apartment building por un pronombre, ¿en qué grupo está? ¿Aquí o acá? Aquí, ¿verdad? It. Entonces, me indica que va a ser das. Das. Primera respuesta. Das. Ok, Miss. Entonces es have or has. Have or has. ¿Cómo es? Does it have? Yes. Yes. Tenemos one, two, and three. Tres opciones. Number one, number two, and number three. Entonces, ¿cuál es mi respuesta correcta? Yes. ¿Hm? Ah. Second, la ah. segunda opción. Does have. Pero, Miss, la primera y la tres se repiten. No importa. No es la respuesta correcta. No importa que se repita. La dos es mi respuesta correcta. Y ahí está. So, does it. Uh -huh. Have. Ahí está. De todas formas, siempre tiene que ser have. Porque cuando tengo un auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. Okay. Esta también es otra razón. Wait. So, number two. Veamos la número dos. It's the same conversation. La misma conversación, ¿verdad? Yes, it is. So, yes, it does. Con it, ¿qué le dije que vamos a usar? Does. Do or does? Does. Does. Bien. Second conversation. Hagamos lo mismo. Si reemplazamos the bedrooms por un pronombre, ¿qué pronombre es este? Das. 
un pronombre sería I, you, he, she. It. It. Mm, it. Not really. No, it. It. no. it's not it. No. Uh -huh. Look. Tengan cuidado, no es it, porque estoy hablando de plural. Ellos, the bedroom. Mm. Cuando es singular es it, pero si es plural es they. Entonces, dije que he, she, and it, voy a ocupar das. Con I, you, we, and they, voy a ocupar do. do. Ya tengo la primera clave o la primera pista de mi respuesta. Do. do. So, ¿cuál es la correcta? Número uno, dos o tres. One, two, or two. three. En la dos. Two. En la dos, fácil. Ahí está mi respuesta. ¿Ok? Is, is, is. Así, traten de aplicar todas las reglas que hemos visto. ¿Ok? Easy class. ¿Ok? No, say, ahí está la respuesta. Bien, let me see. In this case, varios me consultaron. Varios me consultaron que no les agarra la respuesta. Okay. Déjenme darles alguna pista. Most of the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rebe. Lo siento que tengo que desactivar a veces el micrófono, Rebe. Lo siento. Una pista. Miren, si acá en este caso, isn't. Si usamos la coma en vez de la apóstrofe, nos va a dar error. Pero Miss, si yo lo puse bien, puse isn't y aún así me da error, tratemos de hacer esto. En vez de isn't, escribamos la forma completa. Is not. Tal vez así también nos da la respuesta correcta. Si me sigue dando error, tratemos entonces de iniciar con la T mayúscula, que es nuestra primera palabra. There. ¿Ok? En este caso, si se acuerdan, hay varios ejercicios en la plataforma que nos indica que no tenemos que poner un punto al final porque ya está incluido. Pero en este caso no menciona, ¿verdad? No menciona. Entonces creo que sí lleva la puntuación. ¿Ok? Pongamos el punto al final. Varios. No, si en serio no funciona, consulten en el chat. Que más de alguno va a tener la respuesta o la forma en que podemos corregirlo. On Scrumble. Aquí solo ordenamos. Let's go to the next one. This week, we were talking about jobs. And we were giving opinion. In this case, it's very easy. Who works in a hospital class? ¿Quién trabaja en un hospital? The nurse, no. the no. pilot, no. or the salesperson. Okay. The nurse, no. the no. Very easy. Talks to people at a hotel. Is it the cook, receptionist, or the singer? How easy. And aquí easy. estamos. Easy, right? Very easy means sit all day. <laughs> ¿Quién se sienta todo el día? Musician, police officer? I don't mm. think so. And that's it. This exercise, we were working in the first or second class. I don't remember. So how yeah. do you like it? Where do you work? What do you do? De acuerdo a la respuesta, ustedes van a saber identificar cuál es. I work at a restaurant. Oh, they are asking me about places. ¿Qué lugares? ¿Qué pregunta es? Ahí está. Where do you work? Okay. He's a firefighter. He's a firefighter. Mm -hmm. What does he do? What does he do? And that's it. Next one, siguiente parte. Complete the conversation. Okay. Have and has. Have and has. This is just an opinion. This is an opinion about jobs. ¿Se acuerdan que dimos opiniones de los trabajos? A singer have or has an interesting job. The same. We are going to use, look, with he, she, it, We are going to have el verbo has. en esta manera, has. has. With the rest, with I, you, we and they, we are going to have, have. 
So, a singer, a singer, a singer. Si reemplazamos a singer por un pronombre, ¿cuál sería? Un cantante, puede ser. Sí. He or she. No sí. sabemos. He or she. So, he or she has. So, is it number one, two, three, or four? Has, has. Sí. Puede ser number two and number three. Y ahora, ¿cómo sé si es la dos o la tres? Number, no, number three. three. Mm -hmm. Por la regla gramatical de, de la ah, A. Exactly. Lo que ayer casi nos, nos, nos confunde un poco. A and A. Dijimos que A va a ser precedida por una palabra que empieza con consonant. And and. Or a word that it starts with a vowel. So look at number two. Aquí ya veo un error yo, miren. Porque tengo vocal y tengo vocal. Oops, it's right here. Wait. Vocal y vocal aquí. So, ¿cuál es la respuesta correcta? Number two or three. Number three. Number three. Así váyanse. Apliquemos todo lo que hemos visto hasta que lleguen a la respuesta correcta. No solo porque, ah, esta me salió mala, entonces esta debe ser la buena. No. Traten de analizar por qué mi respuesta está incorrecta y por qué mi respuesta sí está correcta. ¿Ok? And then it's just comments. Solo comentamos sobre los trabajos. I think a singer's job is boring, not boring. Y lo mismo, ¿ok? Easy. Identificar how it has. If we go to the next section, what do we have? Let me see. Or is this the last part? Yes, it is. This is the last part. So, questions about this. ¿Cómo estamos con el repaso? ¿Estamos listos para ese examen, para el midterm exam? Yes or no? Are we ready for the exam? Yes or no? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I like it. I like it. So, let me check. Veamos quienes han tenido problemas en la plataforma. Let me ask you, class. Section number one, two, and three for today. Let me see. Okay. How about uh, Christian Adonai is in the class? Christian Adonai? Not right. No, it's not in the class. How about Edgar Francisco? Eh, ¿Cómo estamos con los exercises? ¿Necesita ayuda? Ahí está Edgar. Hola Edgar. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Más o menos? ¿Necesita apoyo? Sí, ¿Sí? Eh, ahorita, más que todo, falta de tiempo de estar en la plataforma, sí, pero claro, hoy avancé un poquito. Me imagino, créanme que los comprendo mucho, los comprendo, pero no, clase, no nos preocupemos, si necesitan ayuda, ahí en el chat vi que muchos estamos interactuando ya, me encanta eso, escríbanme personalmente también, si tienen alguna duda o si les da algún error, veamos qué más. Eh, Cher, eh, me tengo que retirar porque tengo que salir, entonces, don't creo worry, que no, no hay problema, muchas gracias. Cuatro minutos nos faltan, don't worry, Catherine. Okay, so questions about these comments. Are we ready to start with section number four on Monday? Yes or no? Sure. Tell me. I have a question. Yes, Jose Roman. Eh, la diapositiva que puso de, de, de los nombres de, de los, del apartamento y de la casa, eso no está en, en el material de, material de apoyo, en el manual. Está en el video, en el video está. Sí, pero sí también está en el manual. Pero si gustan ah. se los comparto, no hay problema. Sí, sí ajá, sí se sí podría, digo yo. Ajá. Claro, claro que Pero puedo, igual, este, este sí, porque lo estaba revisando en el manual y, y bueno, a mí no me parece que sea, no lo imprimí. No, pero está en digital. Saben que lo que hago yo muchas veces es... Eh, he tomado yo la versión más actualizada del mismo libro, créanme que es el mismo material que ocupamos pero si no está en ese caso, no, yo se los comparto, y siempre lo hago para que se vea mejor la resolución, porque si se han fijado, el libro que tenemos en la plataforma 
al yo tomar captura de ahí se ve un poco borroso. Por eso me gusta presentárselos claro para que se lea bien, en grande y que no tengamos problemas. Pero claro, lo puedo compartir, José Armando. Preguntas, chicos. Questions, comments. Segunda semana juntos. Lo hemos hecho muy bien hasta hoy, ¿ok? So, if we don't have comments. No comments? Or are we sleepy right now? <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> yes, it's Thursday. Let's okay. Tell me, Ana Maria. Uh, uh, now I uh, finished mm -hmm. the part three. Okay. You already finished? No. Uh, ah, yes, section number three, it's over. La sección tres, solo nos quedó, me decía Marlon, el reading. Había un reading nada más, ¿verdad? Okay, thank you. Yes, but this is, creo que tenemos, yes, en un minuto lo resolvemos, don't worry. Yes, it's just a reading, es una lectura nada más. Yo la estaba observando esta semana también. It's just a reading. Here we go. Next week, we are going to start with section number four. Veamos, reading profiles, aquí está. Ok. Look. This is a reading que tenemos, this one. Lisa Parker, John Blue, Becky Pick, and Carlos Ruiz. Solo vamos a leer sobre la información de ellos. Pero eso también está aquí en nuestro video. Ok, 12 seconds, 12 segundos. Profiles. ¿Se, se escucha? Yes. Ok, excelente. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, that is the listening part, and we have the knowledge check. Here we have the reading again. So after I win, I take a break. ¿De quién estará hablando? Who plays video games? ¿A quién menciona que juega video games? John. 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 So after I win, I take a break. I don't usually work in the summer. ¿Quién decía eso? I don't usually work in the summer. Carlos. Uh -huh. Carlos. Who? Carlos, right? Carlos Ruiz. I don't usually work in the summer. Excellent. Here we go. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Who works in a restaurant? Uh, Parker. Who? Lisa Parker. Lisa. Lisa Parker. Mm -hmm. And after work, my feet and my arms are tired. Who walks dogs? No, Becky. 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 So, that's You see, very easy. ¿Cuántos tomó resolver eso? One or two minutes, right? Very easy. Questions about that exercise? Yes or no? Oh. ¿Estamos bien, Ana María, con ese ejercicio? Yes. ¿Sí? So, 
we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining class. It was a pleasure. See you Thank on you. Monday. Descansen mucho, chicos. Practice your English, okay? Okay. Thank See you. Good Monday. Bye. Have a great night. Bye bye, Thank class. Thank you so much, Miss. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank bye you, Miss. You're welcome. Bye. My pleasure. Bye.